All right, we're back. Time to answer some of your questions now. Stephanie Link, hmm. you are up first. Oh. From Byron, Washington, D.C. Thanks for the question. Ulta Beauty, hmm. what do you think? You own it. I do. I do. I actually have been trimming it a little bit because it's had a nice run. It's up 37%. 8% in a week. Yeah, I know. And had a great quarter. Really, nothing to complain about whatsoever. And the momentum is there. So I still like it. I just, I certainly wouldn't be adding here. Um, I'm just going to hold uh, after I've reduced the position. But I mean, a 9% growth rate, 9% comps, margins up, margin upside, operating leverage. It's about everything you could ask for. All right. The good doctor. You're Sir. up now. Nike earnings on Thursday. Ken wants to know what to do. Boy, with all the all -time uh, high today. uncertainty that there might be because of the trade deal and so forth, um, this one just continues to chug higher. Um, so it's the highest level. It's 52-week high, like you say, all-time high, of course. Um, I like it. Credit Suisse has a $100 target on it. I think we can get there. Um, the stock looks extremely strong. All right, the farmer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Donna in Beverly, Mass. Thanks for the question. MSG Networks, you think it's a good buy? Um, I think it's a fair value, Donna. Um, I think there are other places that you can look at, and frankly, that don't have the Dolan issue associated with them. It, other media stocks you can look at, CBS, Viacom, uh, Discovery Channel, where I think there are takeout what opportunities. What if the Knicks get Zion Williamson? Well, you're talking about MSG Networks, wow. not MSG. So MSG is a different stock. This is a better question, by the way. MSG, if you total up the enterprise value of MSG versus the Knicks, Rangers, MS, uh, Madison Square Garden, you see it's trading at a huge discount. That's where you might have a little bit more opportunity. Thanks for the correction. I appreciate it very much. Ian, to you. Nick in Florida. Thanks, Nick. Financials, XLF. Bought lots of the XLF in 2019. What's my next move? Uh, I think you got to reduce uh, into the XLF right now. Uh, two reasons. First, um, you're basically pricing in all these IPOs happening this year. Uh, and second, with uh, the 10-year at 2.6, I just don't see it. the financials going much farther.